Right guys, welcome back to the channel. So today what I'm going to show you how to do is mix with stock plugins. So just like everyone else, at the beginning of making beats I had no plugins. And alongside that I didn't really have any knowledge of how to mix beats or anything like that. So a lot of the times my beats ended up coming out poop. So today I'm basically just going to fast track you all that and get your mixes sounding good. So I'm going to show you a few tips and also include the uh, project file in the description. So if you want to open this yourself and see what I did, uh, you can. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be the video. If you're new here, follow me on Instagram, subscribe if you're new. Uh, we're trying to get to 1000 subscribers. So please help me. And yeah, let's get into it. Right. So when you download everything in the description, you will have this. And this is basically just a template for beats. So personally what I do every time is I load this template up and I essentially just change out the sample and the drums. But using this just lets me have everything leveled basically around where it should be. So this is the beat here. So weirdly enough, I actually got um, a placement with this beat. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm essentially giving you a beat which you already know has had an artist on it and it sound good. So I'm just going to go through each of the parts and show you how I would use this. So it comes with my beat tag in there, but you can just delete that out. Right, so as you can see, we have a, basically a melody, an 808, a place for your beat tag, um, a kick, a clap, and so on. Basically all the drums of every trap song ever. And I'm going to show you how I would make this into a new beat. So for example, I'm just going to delete these. And we're just going to find another sample. So we're going to go to Splice. So we're going to pull this sample in. Now we're just going to adjust the BPM so that it fits. Literally all we've done is throw a sample in and we already have basically a beat done. And as you can hear, that pretty much saved me like 10 minutes doing the drums. So yeah, so from here, what you can do is you can just change the hi-hats out if you want. I, I basically use this roll in like 99% of my beats. You can change all these sounds out and replace them with snares and things. The main thing is that these are leveled perfectly. Say we just want to add an 808. So we've got the BPM here, B major. So I'm just going to put this transposer plugin on, which will already be on in the template as well. Then all you got to do is just pull these risers into place. And that is literally how simple beats can be. So we're just going to grab another one. And it says it's in B major. So, oh, okay, we're already in B major. So this should just work. Yep. So I literally just made two beats in about a minute. What I do is just solo them and just level the new snare to the clap. That snare sounds terrible. So I actually like that other sample I used before, so I'm going to pull that back in. Since this template has already got like a pretty good arrangement, we can just copy this across. And then we're just going to move these transitions into time. So the only plugin that you might have to download is this Ozone Imager, which is free. So go get that. And yeah, that is pretty much it.
Alright guys, so that's been it for the video. This was just a super quick video on how to improve your mixes. Like I said, this will be in the description, so go download it and get your mixes sounding good. If you're new here, follow me on Instagram, subscribe if you're new. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so please help me. And yeah, that's been it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.